Alright, hello everyone, and today I have a Game Maker tutorial for you on license keys. Now, this is just the basic, basic parts of it, just some basic encryption in certain parts, and just showing the license key. You can use this for a lot more, you can upload it to a web server, and uh, then if someone else puts in a key or another key is generated, and if it's already taken, then a new key will be generated. But basically, I it's very basic project right now. I just have a room. This is room test. It's just a green background, 60 FPS, uh, 640 by 480, and I have my object uh, key show in there. Now, key show, I should name this key hash. Because we're creating key hash. Um, so basically, in the create event, this is going to get the key, it's going to create a key, generate a key, and save it to a file. Now this file is called keyhash.ini. It's an INI file just because it's a configuration file. So if that file doesn't exist, so if we haven't created it, if it's not created, we're going to create the file using INI open. It's going to create it. Now you only need to call randomize once in this entire project just because it's you only need to call it once. It'll randomize like every single time it's created so anytime that the file's not created we're gonna create it we're gonna randomize these and we're going to let uh, we're gonna get a key number and a key letter now you could put in like little phrases in these two instead of just the alphabet I just made it basic I put for the key number we're rounding so it's gonna be a whole number or a, a not a decimal and it's going to be between 1,000 and 999. So that gives you a lot of keys that to give out to people. You can expand this value here. I just made it so that I know that if it's my game, then we're going to have a four-digit uh, code of numbers, and then we're only going to have one letter. So you can customize this any way you want. This is just a simple generator. So it's going to get a key number. It's going to get a key letter. And uh, I just capitalized a few of these just to random, make it more random. So then we're going to encrypt these. So we're setting up a new variable called save number. So this we're encrypting the number, not the letter. Because the letter is just, you know, if you change that, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's hard to get the same number then. So uh, basically, we're encrypting the number. We're going to use base64 encode. So we're going to encode it and we're going to encode the string of key number. Then, whenever you write these to a file, make sure whenever you're writing the number, make it a string, save it as a string, not a real number, and save that variable we just set up called save number. And that'll save the encrypted code. And then just write the, the letter just like you would writing a regular INI uh, value to a file. And then, else if the file, if we do have a license key, we're just going to open the file, and then we're going to uh, set up a new variable called load number. So this is loading the encrypted number. And um, then we're just going to set, we're going to decode it here, base64 decode, uh, make it real. We're getting a real value here, which is going to be, you know, letter number. It's going to be number in this case. Uh, if you wanted to do, um, if this was going to be the letter, if you wanted to encode the letter, change this to string just like that but we're gonna do real to make it a real number so we're loading that number and then we're also just loading the uh, the letter as well and then we're just closing that file make sure you close it up here too so now and then in the draw event this is really basic I just set this to center and we're drawing it right in the center of the room and whenever you draw the license key make sure you do the number then the letter or the letter then the number whatever you want to do just make sure you draw it correctly so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to search for where the game is saved because I think I ran this before for a test so I have to find the folder it's called license key test this is the key hash this is what the file will look like if you encrypt the letter it's gonna be all like it's gonna be similar to this one this is how they encrypt it and then uh, we just yeah this is how the file is going to look this is the encrypted number this is no, the non-encrypted letter so now I'm just going to delete this file so I can show you it being randomized I'm actually going to keep that folder open so I find that okay I'm just gonna keep that open so now if we run this oh 
Okay, so it gives me a license key. This license key is 6170C. Now if we exit out and if we run it again, it should give us the same exact license key. And there we go, it's the same license key. And you can do that as many times as you want, it will always give you the same license key. So if we open up that folder, here's our new key hash. C is our letter, the encrypted number. And then if we delete this, it's going to give us a different uh, license key this time. And there we go, we get a different license key. And if we exit out, and if we launch it again, And there we go, we get the same license key. So that's how to make basic license keys in GameMaker. Um, I may have a part two to this if you guys uh, need any more information on this. Uh, it's basic, it's just really basic I and I writing. And you know, if you want to have a, a web server controlling all these license key or getting a license key from there, it'd just be like my updater tutorial. Um, if I have enough time, I can mess around with this for the online part and I can make a tutorial on that if you guys want. But anyway, that's basically it for now. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and comment if you need help or anything. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.